Okay, what I'm going to do today is quickly show you the difference between Google Docs and Google Drive. Um, so the first thing you need to do is upgrade your account so that it says Drive here it says, as opposed to Documents. Um, so if you haven't updated yours, then basically what you need to do is look for a link on here which just says, says something like Try Google Drive. Um, and then you need to download the Google Drive application which is available on both Mac and PC. So. Um, basically I've got it installed on here uh, and I'll just quickly run through the preferences for you so you can see that you do have the ability to select and deselect the folders that you want to synchronize with your Google Drive web space um, which is five gigabytes um, unless you want to pay for more so um, so the concept behind Google Drive um, is that you now can use the Windows Explorer interface or the Macintosh um, interface to access your five gigabytes of um, Google Drive space and uh, you you don't have to do use it for just Google documents and spreadsheets so I've got an image here and I'll just drag it over you may notice the dual arrows on the icon and that means that um, that image is now synchronizing or was synchronizing with my Google Drive space and it's now finished it's got the green check so if I come into my um, my web based drive access you'll see that that image um, is already there so uh, and it works uh, in the opposite direction as well. So I'll go ahead and create a document. Um, sometimes this lags a little bit. I mean, you know, it's as instantaneous as you could imagine it would be. So, Okay, as with all Google Documents, there's no need to save. Um, your changes are saved automatically, which is pretty cool. So um, I'll go ahead and close out of here, and we'll take a look. Um, you'll notice, so there's my image. There's the new document that I just created. Um, let's take a look. Sometimes this is a little bit delayed, um, but in this case, it was there. So uh, as you can see on my local folder, uh, the the um, Google word processing document that I just created is already there so uh, it's it's pretty uh, it's pretty amazing I mean so the nice thing about this is that you can drag other files there um, you can double click on the document as I just did and as long as you're logged into your mail um, you know it'll open right up otherwise it'll prompt you for the login um, the next feature that I'm going to talk about in the next video and I'll link to it right here is um, the ability to uh, edit these word processing documents while offline um, and you can view other documents such as your presentations and spreadsheets offline as well so in the next video I'll quickly run through how to enable offline edits uh, with your Google Docs or Google Drive account rather so leave comments and questions if you've got them thanks